Let's look now at the situation where we want to integrate a proper rational function r of x over qx which has some irreducible quadratic factors, none of which are repeated. So we're looking at factors of the form aix squared plus bix plus ci, where bi squared minus 4 ai ci is less than 0. And in this case, for each of these distinct irreducible quadratic factors, we include a term of this form in the partial fractions decomposition of the rational function. That is, a term with a linear, an unknown linear polynomial in the numerator and the irreducible quadratic factor in the denominator. And all of these terms can be integrated using a combination of substitution and our integral for tan inverse by completing the square here. Let's look at an example. Let's integrate x squared plus x plus 1 over x times x squared plus 1. This is a proper rational function. It has two irreducible factors in the denominator q of x, namely x and x squared plus 1. Our first step here is to find the partial fractions decomposition of this proper rational function. And we treat the linear factors as we did before. We have one linear factor, x, and for that we include the term a over x in the partial fractions decomposition. And for the irreducible quadratic, x squared plus 1, we include a term of the form bx plus c over x squared plus 1. Now we must solve for the a, b, and c. And remember, the first step is to multiply across by qx itself the denominator on the left-hand side. So multiplying across by the denominator on the left-hand side and cancelling whatever we can on both the left-hand side and the right-hand side, we end up with x squared plus x plus 1 on the left-hand side and a times x squared plus 1 plus x times bx plus c on the right-hand side. Now remember, when two polynomials are equal, then the coefficients of the powers of x must be equal, and of course the constant terms must also be equal. So we expand the right-hand side and gather up all of the terms with x squared and x and all of the constant terms and we compare coefficients to get three equations um, in our three unknowns. So on the right hand side when we gather up coefficients our polynomial becomes a plus bx squared plus cx plus a and comparing that to the polynomial on the left hand side, we get a plus b must equal 1, those are the coefficients of x squared on both sides, c must equal 1, that's the coefficient of x on both sides, and the constant terms must also be equal, so we get a equals 1. We have a equals 1 and c equals 1, and we must have b equals 1 minus a, so b equals 0. And now we substitute these back into our partial fractions decomposition and we find that our rational function equals 1 over x plus 1 over x squared plus 1. And now integrating this is a piece of cake. We have the integral of our rational function is the integral of 1 over x plus the integral of 1 over x squared plus 1, which is the natural log of the absolute value of x plus tan inverse of x plus c.